Hi, I'm Tim Van Milligan. Today I'd like to talk to you about motor extensions. Now you're asking, what is a motor extension? Well, they're only used on minimum diameter rockets. Now I've kind of built a clear minimum diameter rocket so you can kind of see what's going on here. This kind of gives you the lay of the land. Down here we have the fins. Um, you have your minimum diameter engine retainer right here. And I talked about this in a previous video, and on the Apogee website, we'll link to that video so you can see how that's used. Um, and then up here you'll have, this will be a dual deployment rocket because of the minimum diameter retainer. So you have your, um, one of the recovery devices here, and I just have a streamer and some shock cord. And then in the top, you're gonna have um, your eBay and then your nose cone. So let me just pull this off here so save a little room. So what a minimum diameter retainer does is it allows you to retain a rocket motor. So this is a, a Rouse Tech motor uh, using Aerotech reloads. Um, and that will go into the back of the rocket. And, and you'll notice that right here, when we screw it together, it latches onto that retainer right here. And now the motor is stuck and it won't come out. And that's what we want because we want to retain the motor. Um, the issue is how do you use shorter motors like these different cases here. So now if I put this, the retainer that, I, that we have here stays with the rocket. It's part of the rocket. So now if we put a shorter motor in, we got a gap and the motor might want to come out. So we need to extend the length of the motor and that's what the motor extensions are all about. So basically what it allows you to do is it allows you to screw into the top of the threaded insert right here. And then when we put the motor in, you see that I can, I'm, I'm latched right onto that threaded rod right there, and now I'm locked in. And that's what the, these are for. Now you notice that they come in various sizes. There's four different lengths for the 38 and the 54. This, these will both work on 38 and 54s. And then there's also a set for the 75 millimeter and the 98 millimeter, all one set. Um, so what you'll do to select the one is you gotta find which motor it is, you know, um, the difference in length, and that's the one you buy. Now they are somewhat adjustable because the, the screw on the end here can, can go in and out. And so you can make up some distance. Um, and then on, on the Epigee website, we li list the maximum length and the minimum length so you can make that comparison. So you'll find the difference in length and then order the correct motor extension like this. So, uh, these are motor extensions. That's how to use them. Um, they also work on the Cesaroni motors. Um, and there's an, another little adapter on the Cesaroni motors that you'll need that goes with this. Um, so you're going to order this separately, this separately, and a little um, adapter for the Cesaroni motors. And that will be separate too. And again, it's all so that you can fly your minimum diameter rocket with various lengths rocket motors in them. I'm Tim Van Milligan. This is the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. May the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.